Peeps, what's up, everyone? It is your girl, JLP Diddy7 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna get into another palette mashup. So I put these three Nomad palettes together um, when the Royal Europe palette first came out, and then I put it with the Paradise Islands and the Costa Rica palettes that had come out, and I made this eye look right here. And some of y'all on Instagram talking about how you really like the eye looks. So I was like, well, maybe I'll do a, you know, a palette mashup video about it. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to recreate this look. I even brought the eyeliners with me, y'all. I came prepared for once, girl. I brought the eyeliner and everything. So what I did was I took the neutral shade out of here, this one right here. And then I took, I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was these two shades right here. Y'all, I did that like over a week ago. So God, I don't know. I put this green shade, I'm pretty sure, on the lid. And I think I put this toward the front of the eye. Then I went into this palette and took these two greens right here for the green in the front and the green in the crease. Then I went into the Costa Rica palette and I'm pretty sure I dipped into this shade right here. And I think it was this green right here to kind of mirror the two shades together on the lid. But yeah um i'm going to try to create it as best i remember girls let me zoom in real quick and keep right y'all know how many i look i do a week oh you can comment down below and tell me what you think of the face i have on all the new um elf stuff so i have on the new elf blush the elf um contour and the elf highlighter and i'm comparing them to the short tilbury highlighting wand and blush wand that i got in that little kit during the holiday last year so we'll see how it goes i'm gonna go off camera and do one eye and then i'll come back and do the eye with you so we can over the side because girl it took a lot and i'm still over here trying to remember like what all did i do standing that picture up and down like um you do what now <laughs> i'll be right back okay so here's the eye all done if you will so we're gonna go through the steps and honey it was a lot of steps that's why i didn't even try to make this one a um shorts like i'm gonna do with some of the other ones i filmed one of the shorts last night i literally used two palettes it was a pretty simple look, but it looked like I put a whole bunch of effort into it. This one, I actually did put a whole bunch of effort into it, and I feel like it shows. I got on the eyeliner and from Adept Cosmetics in Sector 001, what's what that green pop is of the wing on the end. I love the eyeliner. It's like Sector 001, I need like five. I need Adept to just send me five. Just send me all of them, girl. Send me five. Because I need it. I need all those eyeliners. I need it. So I'm so glad that I got that mystery bundle just for those eyeliners alone. The bundle was worth it just for me because of the eyeliners. Do you hear me? The bundle was worth it just because of the eyeliners. Okay, so I started off using this shade right here. And then I mixed these two right here for the outer bead work. So then the greens I took are from the Paradise Islands palette. So once we get there, I will start on that. But for right now, we're just going to start with this. I took the yellow out of the Paradise Islands as well to dust over the top over here but we're not anywhere near that so we just start with the palette that we did start off with and then go from there i do feel like i might have mixed up a couple of shimmers on the lid so we'll have to see how that turns out but these are the steps i took girl and they were a lot but if you have these palettes and you want to recreate this look, I want to make sure you like saw what I did in order to achieve what I got. Because I ain't going to front the look was fire. It took me a while to make it, but it was fire. And I still got to film like three more videos after this. So I need to film my current favorites video. I need to film my um, Kayali overall brand fragrance review video. And I want to make sure that goes up sometime next week just because I gotta, you know, while sale is going on, I gotta get get the girls the information and the tea. And then I'm gonna have to um, film a video on multi-chromes. So I think um, another palette measure I was gonna film today for shorts is gonna have to wait till Friday. So now I'm taking the fuchsia shade to start off with because that's the one I used because it was the deepest of the two. And then I put the red on top of it to give it a little bit more of that brighter red look to it and then that super bright red that i put over the um red on the outer v is actually from the costa rica palette i'm pretty sure so i just dipped in all the colorful palettes and just wanted to use a multi on the lid so that's why i came up with this
You know, I feel like from what I remember, I didn't even use like the multicombs and the palette after I did all that. I just layered like two or three shimmers from Costa Rica and the Paradise Islands. I'm not sure. It was so long ago, girl. And y'all know I'm always sleep deprived. And they say when you sleep deprived, you don't, your brain doesn't function it as much as it should. So I'm pretty, I know I did the majority of the steps right, but a couple of them, like, I feel like uh, the shimmers might not necessarily be perfect, but it still looks fire either way. You know, it still looks fire. Okay, Adrian Gimo just sent me a text message. That's why I paused. Sorry. Yeah, what is this kissing me? Okay, I, I don't know what the purpose of sending me pictures of those hoodies were. I don't know if that's our way of saying we want one or like what, but you know. Anyway, I'm going to go into the red shade now and tap over it. That red shade I pointed to in the corner, I just put it on top of here after I got the depth in there so that way I could have kind of a deep toned red shade if you will because on its own, obviously it wouldn't have been that deep because as we can see it's making this light which meant it would have been lighter and I wanted more depth and then the reds pop so I put the fuchsia underneath to give it like that deeper bearish type look to the outer V. And I'm hoping somebody I don't know how to work color baby. I made that color work for me. How you doing? Okay, so now we're going to get into the crease shades. So, we'll come back to this palette in a moment because we're going to have to grab these two shades out of it at the bottom in order to make the look that we're making. But for right now, we're going to get into... Matter of fact, I think it was this one and another shade I actually used instead. But, you know, it's fine. Next, we're going to go into this palette. So I took the two greens in here, I took this green and this green, and that's what you get toward the front of the eye here. And then I took the yellow from the Madagascar palette to put over here, but we're not, I mean, not Madagascar, the, Jesus, the, um, what's that palette called? The, um, Costa Rica palette. So I'm gonna start with the shade Lizard, the green, and start building that up like I'm supposed to, so. Y'all saw the end result, so it looks fire. It's just what you have to do to make it look fire is just a lot. So it's a lot. So I'm just taking a clean brush now, the brush that we took the transition shade on and dusting over that. And now we're gonna get into the green. Now the green has hell of all that, I'm gonna tell y'all now. Like, I had to take a powder brush and dust it from my face cause it just falls everywhere. It was falling all on my nose and everywhere else when I tried to use it. This is the shade Tiki from the um, Paradise Islands palette. So that works. I'm gonna take the clean brush again and kind of this right here and there. Looking pretty good, since you're not gonna see that much of it, it doesn't matter how I blend out. It's just supposed to peek out of the inner corner right here, so you see, as you can see, it peaks and gives an extra little pop, if you will. So now we're gonna go into that red shade. What up with the brush for the red shade? I should be denied the brush for Y'all brushes be rolling everywhere. I just be like, ugh. 
Why is this happening to me? So, oh, wait, this one should fill this out. It's too much going on. Maybe I should get too many brushes in one space. I don't know. Here we go. So, the Napa brush, we're going to go. So, we're done with this palette for now. We're going to come back and, do we come back to this one? Yeah, we come back and take this shade right here. I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I didn't do the inner corner yet. So, I thought we can do that last time. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go into this red shade right here to dust over there. Then we're going to put this yellow over the green as our bone shades. And then this is one of the shades that we prefer the um, lid on top of the multi bra. And I think I used this shade as well in the corner. I mixed that lighter green and this green to do that. I told you I was jumping all over palettes just everywhere. I was just like, whew, child, I'm sorry. By the time I got done doing this look and then I still had to go to work. But, I mean, it was fire, and, and my friend was, like, talking about how much she liked this look a lot. I'm like, yeah, I liked it, too, but it did it take some work? I'm telling y'all. Well, y'all see it took some work, because we ain't even, like, fourth of the way there. So, this is one of the more complex, I felt like, being super extra type looks. And so, I was, because she's definitely, definitely a lot going on over here. Now, we're going to go into the yellow shade. This had a ton of fallout on me, too. I love how when I say it's a ton of fallout, then I'm on camera, it's not fallout. But I'm telling y'all, when I didn't do this on camera, like, I had literally yellow sitting all over my face and all over my eyelid. And I had to, like, take a powder brush and, like, dust it away because it was that much. But now it's just like, yeah, we're going to make you look a fool on camera. We're not going to fall. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to, you know, exist. I feel like this looks somewhat similar to the, um, another look I did. A little while ago, but it's cool. Y'all said y'all. Oh yeah, a car cut off when I was in the middle of doing his eye look. So, well not sorry, the car got pulled. When I was in the middle of doing his eye look. So we did the yellow up here, we did the red down here. Now it's time to cut this crease and with some glitter glue and get into all the shimmers because a lot of them too. It's just a lot of whole bunch of stuff going on in this look, girl. Which is why I dare not try to put this in the short because who in the right mind? I'm gonna try to edit it down. That little girl, DJ ain't gonna be me. Not today. Not today, y'all. I'm just cutting it. I could have cut it before I turned the camera back on, but I was just like, to go ahead and do it now. You know, it's here. We're here. Everyone's here. Um, so what I did was I started off with this one toward the back and then I put this one toward the front and then I went into the other palettes with the other shimmers I used and used those. So we're going to start off with this one. So it's called Royal Orb. I put them toward the back side. Like in this area here. So like maybe halfway the middle of that. Right there. Then I turn it over and do the one next to it, which is the Imperial Crown. And I put that one at the front of that. But I did use a couple of shades to marry the two shades together in between, so we'll get to those in a second. This is one time I didn't go in and do like extra increase work as far as changing the colors and all that. I was like, we're just going to leave her alone. We're just, just going to leave her alone. She's minding her business, living her best life. You should do the same. <laughs> no, so I took the shade right here and put it on top of the Imperial Crown that we just put down. So I'm going to put that in. And that's where you did the extra really like shift of pink that you see toward the front of the eye. see that extra little pink shift so then I went into um palettes. I mixed a couple shades from a couple different palettes so I took the shade down here and popped it in between this two right here to get kind of like that bluish green effect I have going on
other shade I took. I feel like it's in this palette here. Yeah, I think I took the shade Shark and just put a little bit of it on top of the other one to get a little bit more of the blue brightness to mirror the two shades together, if you will. So now let's get into the inner corner shades. So I took the shade Fish here. Sorry, like y'all, like, like keep switching. And then I took the shade um, Wild, I'm sorry, Wildlife Wonderland. And kind of bind both of those in the inner corner and that's how we got what we got going on. So that's the last thing I need to do in this look. Where's my inner brush? Y'all, I feel like I've been sitting here for 20 minutes doing this, but that's because I had to deal with the card and had a battery want to die. Y'all, is a whole thing. So I'm gonna do the inner corner off camera. I mean, I'm gonna do the other eyeliner off camera because we're trying to save time, girl, and the battery is flashing. But put this wildlife on top real quick. But yeah, so this is the final look. So I know it took me forever to get there. I know it took a long time, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Let me know down below if you would take the time to do all this. Because, girl, like, sometimes I'd be bored and be doing stuff. But, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. You just got to be willing to put in work. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.